pressured. Shot is off. Nearly good. He'll get fouled. That's good. His first shot is good. Highlight of the night at the end of the game. All the Hatters come off the bench to congratulate John Solomon for his first varsity points. John Solomon is a real life Rudy, the ultimate underdog. It was never easy for me. Like everything, everything I had to pull hard and and uh, you know go go through adversity. And most people probably in my position would have quit. And you know I, I just felt like you know this is my dream, and you know I was going to do whatever I could to make it. A 2004 graduate of Hatboro Horsham, he only got on the floor a handful of times, tallying a career total of four points. I wanted to get better. I wanted to prove everybody wrong. And I think it kind of has the same flow in this business. Fortunately, I'm more talented in business than I was in basketball. Run into it. Catch the shoot. Don't bring it down. Now, nine years later, Solomon spearheads the self-motivated athletic agency. Its goal is to help undiscovered talent from mostly low-level colleges reach a global audience and potentially earn a professional contract playing abroad in the process. That kind of fueled me to, to this thing that we're doing right here and to be able to use any opportunity to, to help others, you know, get to their dream. I met John at Kentucky Wesleyan, called myself working out, and I seen him working out, and the way he worked him out, it was kind of special, so I was like, well, let me see what this guy knows, and we've been uh, together ever since. John has basically just tried to promote me to everybody, okay? So I had an opportunity to be on ESPN and Letterman and all these different shows. I've had a lot of opportunities uh, that he's made available to me just by promoting. Corey Rich and Quan Waller have both been globetrotting with Solomon for over a year now, but it's their most recent opportunity overseas that was without a doubt their most unique and came about when a businessman in China came to Solomon with a proposal. He goes, I want to do a U.S. Legends tour. I was like, what? Like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, like, how am I going to, you know, make this happen? And, you know, I, I wasn't really in those circles. I knew that, you know, NBA players would be a hot ticket anywhere. And uh, so we're in the middle of negotiations, and uh, they said, deal breaker, Tracy McGrady. You got 24 hours to get him. Having strictly dealt with players who could only dream of playing in an NBA arena like this one, Solomon had to rely on his dogged determination and an ever-growing list of connections. And that helped him secure the likes of Gary Payton, Jason Williams, and Tracy McGrady. Fresh off a finals appearance with the San Antonio Spurs, T-Mac didn't disappoint. While Williams wowed the crowds. And Peyton did what a point guard must do to become a Hall of Famer assist. Once a far off thought, this trip to the Far East only has Solomon striving for more. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to be in my future. Um, I wrote a business plan. Uh, this with the with some of the ideas, but I think when you work hard and you know you you, you knock on doors, eventually some doors got to open. You know what I've been through. You know I, I come a long way, and to you know be in front of those kinds of people that everybody in the country can identify with was, was definitely a different uh, status uh, for me. And you know I would really appreciate that be out there and to have that opportunity. And uh, still to this day, really can't believe it actually happened.